right, so we're back to talk about SAP TechEd, and I'm joined by Sally Eves. Sally, great to see you again. And you, Tim. Thank you very much. Always great to um, continue this conversation, and I'm just learning so much from you as uh, as you kind of share your perspective and and look at this from just a really kind of interesting uh, lens. And so I want to maybe double click on talking about the developer. You know, the developer space is really challenging. And so, Sally, I know this is a space that you look very carefully at. What were some of your takeaways from TechEd in regards to the developer? Yeah, so one would be absolutely how we reduce bottlenecks in that development process. I think Build is absolutely hitting that need head on. Now, as one example of this, just look at the resources and what this has been built on. So I think it's around 4,000 customer reference points have been put into Build or built into Build, should I say. Um, we've got 2,750,000 process reference points related to that. So there's all this wealth that we're building on. And then it's around 1,300 workflows. So you've got all that that's set in place. So it allows that kind of instant tapping, if you will, to make the most of that and really leverage the full you know, spectrum of business expertise built into SAP technology. So it's a fantastic advance forward. We can use all of that. It allows business users who can be incredibly close to the bits and problems we're trying to solve to get directly involved in that. So that's a key point I wanted to make. You know, where does this come from and what's being built in by design to actually make the most of? Um, and again, um, other things I'd love to mention is around the change management approach. You know, we always talk, don't we, about you know, the agile organizer organization. You know, I like to take it down a level to look at the agile team and even the agile individual from a skills point of view. And again, I think it's directly affecting this. A, the collaboration that's built into Build is labeled different types of users to come together. So when we're looking at DevOps, AI ops, all these traditional things that really get people together, they also need the right technology support, the right resources, the right process to enable that too. I think Build taps into that very, very well. So again, it's coming together, which is so, so valuable. And again, change management to support that agility you need to have the right agile approach. We've talked before on SAP conversations about that investment in CICD or continuous integration, continuous deployment. This directly aligns with the build approach. So we've got agile application development, got agile ability to address problems you know, before they happen, hopefully in most cases, and also to, to be agile to innovation opportunities that we see as well. So I won't say any more because I'd love to hear your takes here as well, but it's a top three, um, that coming together, the change management approach and the huge resource reference points as it's been built on to really benefit business users. Yeah. No, Sally, those are great points. And, you know, the existing workflows that are into build right out of the gate, I think is a huge, huge yes. catapult opportunity for companies. But I think one of the things we have to also acknowledge is on one hand, there is this constraint around developers. And so build really opens the door to folks that are not professional developers uh, to be able to build applications and build workflows uh, within a more streamlined and, and easier environment using low code and no code. But I think the other piece that I can just imagine IT folks looking at is, well, hold on a sec. There's a reason why we go through IT and, and some of those processes include architecture and enterprise architecture. It also includes uh, guardrails around security and data access and data privacy and regulatory requirements. And so when you work through the IT function, that typically gets layered in. And so one of the concerns would be, how do you build applications in a very quick way while still putting these guardrails in place? And one of the things that we heard at TechEd is they've thought through that so that IT can still put those guardrails in place, but yet those business developers or business users can actually continue to build applications at a very rapid pace without having to worry about stepping into an area that they otherwise wouldn't be aware uh, they're stepping into. And so I think that's a it's a great balance between speed as well as opening up the um, the opportunity to business users that understand the function, understand the change that's needed, but still putting some protections in place so that they don't necessarily get the company in trouble as they're going through that innovation cycle. Absolutely. I think two, two words were ringing in my head when you were speaking there. So it's like protection and pace. We've got both of them blending together yeah. in, that, in that opportunity. And as was discussed during the event and just outside of this too, I think all the evidence shows that providing you've got that protection, the guardrails you were talking about there in place, 
everything says that if you have more regular, smaller, incremental changes and you've got that collaboration behind it, actually you negate risk and increase opportunity. It doesn't, it's not the other way around. So yeah, I couldn't agree more strongly. I think that balance there between pace and protection is absolutely spot on. Yeah. And you know, one of the things we we have to just acknowledge is we're not talking about some function that sits off to the side that if it does go sideways, it's going to have maybe an impact to a particular population of the business, but we're talking about core business functions, Absolutely. right? Whether it's uh, HXM in the human capital management aspects, if we're talking about um, the financials, if we're talking about supply chain, if we're talking about customer experience, I mean, all of these are incredibly important and critical to any given company. And so it's important to understand how you can speed up the pace of innovation and bring others into the mix, but at the same time, make sure it's done in a very constructive way. Absolutely. That's that's the ultimate way, isn't it? For, for, for shared value outcomes, it is absolutely the way forward. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Absolutely. Great. So we'll leave it there and I'm sure we'll be talking more. Look forward to it, Tim. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. 